So welcome to the follow to demo video. This will be an overall video just showing the basic operating functions of follow to. Now follow to is the latest version um, of follow one that's been around for close to 40 years. Um, follow to is purely cloud based and um, basically takes advantage of all the new technology that uh, Windows has to offer. So when you open up the follow to login screen, you'll notice it says welcome to POS Cloud. So we're really giving follow to a new name, POS Cloud. There is a new website called pointofsalecloud.com um, where you can find upgrades and features and technical information, manuals, and all these videos. So to log in, it's very similar to the follow one. Um, you simply need your email address to log into your cloud account and your password. If you have follow one, um, current version of the Vivaldi point of sale dry cleaning system, um, you can just download the new app and um, you're off and running. You can just log in using your follow one account and it's fully compatible. So we're going to go ahead and log in using the uh, password for the demo account. I'm going to click log in. I can use the touch screen. It says welcome to and this will show the name of your cleaners. Make sure you logged into the right account. These are the counter logins <clears throat> which are optional. Uh, in the follow system, meaning that before every transaction you can have your counter people enter a PIN and you can keep track of who does what, when, where, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So when you first log in, you log in to the basic, um, we call it the home screen. And the home screen is where your basic functions are done. You'll notice that there's no real buttons to write ticket, pick up ticket, because the very first thing you need to do is um, search for a customer. Customer walks in, test customer, I'm going to type uh, part of the name. Uh, it doesn't have to be the whole name or part of the phone number or the whole phone number. Press enter or click search and then I'm going to simply just click the customer. You'll notice that the new customer search screen um, gives you lots of information. Is the customer active? their route, are they a VIP, you'll see the little green squares and as you scroll over you see their address, email account, uh, the time, the last time they've been in, how much money they spent, what's their total tickets um, that they've actually done with you in the past. But it also shows are they taxable, are they account customer, a wholesale customer, are they part of your loyalty program, uh, when their birthday is, uh, are they a hotel account. So all you need to do is just select it and it's all touch screen based. So you could just touch the customer. Um, also, you'll notice that we have a new keyboard button that'll, yeah, they can simply click. So if you're using a touch pad or a tablet or um, uh, you simply are just using a touch screen, you don't like the mouse, click the keyboard and you can type there and you can turn that off and on on various screens. Now on this screen, typically what's going to happen is you're going to notice after you select a customer, um, a bunch of buttons pop up. You can write ticket, pick up ticket, quick ticket, or go to customer edit. So these are the basic functionalities of a customer when, or a counter person when a customer walks in. So to write a ticket, you're going to notice a completely redesigned screen. Uh, it pops up. It still works the same way. You select the quantity select the item, then the optional upcharges will appear and you can add fabric and color and um, optional upcharges. So let's say we have two scarves. I'm going to click two and scarf. You'll notice the scarf turns bold to tell you, hey, you added that to the ticket already. And the moment you click starch, you get the optional upcharges down here. We don't have any forced upcharges, so otherwise it would have told you. So I'm going to say the scarf is made of cotton and then I'm going to select a sweater. Now if you just click on the item itself without clicking a quantity it assumes one. Okay 
and if you click it a second time, it'll add it a second time on the list, okay? But again, I can go ahead and click an optional upcharge. You'll notice as you click the optional upcharges that um, they turn black, so it knows that, hey, the item you just chose, these are the optional upcharges you choose. So if you walk away from the system and come back, you're like, okay, I already did linen. Um, you'll notice the classes are up top. So if I want to choose laundry, I just click laundry and I click robe and no starch. And then I can add an optional upcharge that's very specific to that particular item. Okay. Um, you'll also notice alterations. So I have, uh, let's go back to dry cleaning. <clears throat> let's choose a uh, let's choose some slacks and let's go to alteration and let's actually hem the pants so I'm going to click that it's going to ask you just like follow one uh, would you like to attach this to the last item I'm going to say yes and you'll notice that it did not add an extra piece to the piece count because I added it to the trousers um, so you only need one tag for that, but it also indicated right underneath the hem pants that this goes on the trousers. So it tells you specifically where it's at. Now you can change price of any item now by just clicking on the item and clicking change price. And you can go ahead and put, you know, $3. It's going to ask you, do you want to change the unit price or do you want to change the overall price? So. If there are two items, you can change the unit price. It'll multiply by two. Uh, if there's um, two items and you say, no, don't change the unit price, that's just an override price. So what I'm going to do is override the price with three. You'll see that the total down at the bottom has been changed. The piece count's um, still correct. The other thing you can do is if you want more real estate, um, our navigation bar on the left gives you the ability to go ahead and close the navigation bar. And now you can see that you can add a lot more items to your screen, a lot more upcharges. Um, so they work pretty well. So if we go down here to, um, let's say a skirt, and we can come down here and you can see you get a lot more real estate. You'll also notice the new system gives the ability for any item you can choose a color of the button. If you want to group buttons by certain colors for certain types of items, you can also choose the size of the button now. So you can make it a little bit bigger or much bigger, such as let's say the alterations. You'll see some of these, you want a bigger description in there. So it allows you a lot more versatility. Now, if we go into, um, let's say dry cleaning and choose um, the dress, um, you could see here that immediately it locks everything down and you're given the options for the dress and you can have a whole bunch of them. Um, so these are the four step charges now that appear and you can see it says select the four step charge to continue. So you can't select another item until that four step charge is chosen. So I'm going to choose a two piece dress you'll see it goes dress two piece because it was a four step charge. So when you're done writing the ticket, you've got the items. Um, and by the way, the new version gives you the ability to exit the ticket and edit it later at the exact same point that you're at. And um, all you got to do is that it saves everything as you go along. You don't have to click save. So if I hit search, I can go back and pick up a ticket for somebody else, go to the edit ticket and just select this ticket and I'm right back where I was. But when you're ready to print it, hit save and print. Again, you pop up, it defaults to the default days for pickup. You can see the total prices here. It adds any kind of environmental fee. Now, right now we have the environmental fee, I think set to a certain percentage. Um, so it's going to add environmental fee for whatever items environmental fee is applicable. Um, tax, so you can tax dry cleaning and alteration but not laundry or tax everything or don't tax anything or make a customer untaxable if they're a nonprofit. 
So you can see it adds up the tax and environmental fee, adds any coupons and discounts. You can see those appear on the right. Um, and there's a prepayment button right here. Um, so we can go ahead and prepay this ticket. Uh, let's say pay exact. We're going to pay by, um, let's say, cash. And we're no change due because we're paying exact. And it says, congratulations, this customer is in our loyalty program. And we have loyalty set to $100. So every time they spend $100 or more, they get $5 credit. So if they spend $200, they get $10 credit. And this can be applied to their next order. Now, it's very important. It can't be applied to this ticket. It's automatically applied to the next order. So this just told me we've got loyalty dollars. Um, it's 10 pieces. There's zero due and I can hit print. Um, on the final print screen, you can choose the day of pickup. It defaults to the 21st, but you can modify it just by clicking on it. Um, also, all our reports and tickets, etc., now have an email option. So it'll automatically email the ticket to the customer. If you click this, you could preview anything and you can print it. Now, the reports are a little different. They also have an email and preview option, but they will email every report to the manager. So at any point that you run, let's say an end of day report or a ticket listing report or a marketing report, um, instead of printing it, you can click email. It'll send a PDF attachment to the manager with the name of the report. So today we're going to hit preview. And we're going to say yes, go ahead and do it now. It's going to process it and you're going to see this is what your ticket's going to look like when it comes out the printer. So you've got the total amount, you've got the ticket number down at the bottom. If you had garment tags, you could add those and it puts it there. You got 10 pieces, nothing is due when they pick it up. And it gives a complete listing of all the items plus the barcode, etc. So You'll notice that after we previewed, boom, we're back to the home screen. So at this point, um, you can open up this menu here and um, you could hit pickup. So you can come down here to pickup. Uh, for the same customer, you'll notice this customer has a lot of tickets. Only one of them's ready to be picked up at rack location 333. Um, 176 is the new ticket we just created. So let's go ahead and pick up this ticket that's ready to be picked up. Or you can select multiple tickets. And you'll notice that if you just select the ticket and you don't click it on the checkbox, it'll show you what's actually on the ticket. You can go up and down and see what's on the ticket itself. Um, you can also click and unclick any of the checkboxes, which basically you can see this one has nothing in it. It's kind of a quick ticket. Um, but you can select multiple tickets saying, hey, I want to pick up both these tickets. So this one, for instance, is not racked, but it's ready. So you go to the racking center and grab it. So I'm going to hit pickup. It shows I owe $30.59. I'm going to pay $50. I'm going to pay cash. I get $19.41 in cash change back, and the drawer will automatically open. Okay. Um, if the... Um, uh, if that's all the customer needs, then you're all fine. You're ready to move on. I did want to show you a quick ticket. Let's say a customer walks in and wants a quick ticket. Click quick ticket and you'll notice quick tickets are a little different now. It's basically the same screen, but instead of items, you get classes. So I've got three dry cleaning items on a quick ticket and I've got six laundry on a quick ticket and it actually will print items with no actual quantity because it's not going to add to the piece count but it's going to show you that this quick ticket has three dry cleaning items and six laundry and when you hit print you don't owe any money because you know basically you haven't itemized it yet but i'll show you what the ticket looks like we go to preview mode here and pull this up it says quick ticket and it basically gives you no piece count but it does show you that this ticket has three dry cleaning items and six laundry. So in order to deal with that, all you gotta do is go to the dashboard and you can see you get the full menu of all the basic items, but 
Everything on the dashboard is also available over here on the left under counter duties. So we're going to go to edit ticket. It's going to show you all the tickets by default that have come in today. And the one with class Q, status Q, is a quick ticket. So all you do is edit the ticket. And you can see you got these items here. They actually stay there. So there's three dry cleaning items. I'm going to go three sweaters. It now adds the three sweaters, but you got the reminder on the ticket that it came in as a quick ticket. And then you got six laundry items. So I'm going to click laundry, click six, and I'm going to go jumpsuits with light starch. And at that point, let me show you what a quick ticket looks like when you print it. I'm going to go to preview. And when this pops up, you'll see that you've got a regular ticket now. It's not a quick ticket. Shows three sweaters. You got nine pieces in total, but it also shows you what came in on the original quick ticket, which is extremely nice to have. Okay. So at that point, um, I just want to go back to now the dashboard and you could see that we have cash drawer. So if I click on that, you can see all the cash transactions that came in today, including the ones we just did on ticket 175 and 174. Um, you can print the end of day report. Um, so that comes out the little printer or that can be emailed um, automatically to the manager. Um, you could Z out the drawer, just like uh, follow one, and you can add your starting cash for the next day. You can also go back and look at cash drawers from previous days, uh, things that have been closed. Now the report module has been completely rewritten where you can see over here that there's a report section and each one of these sections have a whole bunch of reports. So if I click ticket report, I can come down here and I can run any of these reports. Um, let's say a ticket listing report. I want to do all the tickets created today. And again, if I hit email, it'll send a PDF copy of the report to the manager. Um, I'm going to preview it, so I'm going to pop it up. You can see that we wrote two tickets. This gives you their location, their route, etc., etc. And of course, there's a lot more complicated reports by um, special groups, by user, uh, ticket reports. You'll get your sales reports, which is your monthly sales, weekly class summaries. Uh, cash box reports are pretty serious. Um, so we've got a bunch of those and then you've got your marketing reports. Um, so year to date customers, VIP customers, customers who spent over 500. Uh, inventory is very important because if we come back here uh, to the dashboard, you've got a whole bunch of inventory reports, but you'll also notice that you have an inventory system. So you can take the scanner, scan all the tickets. It'll tell you what's missing what's in the wrong place, etc. Um, we have the garment tag system. If you want to enter your own garment tags and be able to track items, it has a complete accounts receivable module. So you can type in a name. It shows you all the um, customers that are on account and you can print statements and invoices. You can process credit cards. So in other words, you can have it go through all the accounts and anybody who has a credit card token on file automatically it'll charge them. Uh, again, at any point and these screens, you can edit the customer. So you can pull up the customer information, um, modify their accounting information like um, discounts and credits. Um, you can take a look at their sales information, um, their various transactions that they might have had over the last 30 days. So you can see everything that happened, you know, tickets that are edited, uh, pickups, etc. cetera. Um, but also it shows you all their tickets. You can see their quick tickets. You can see their in-process tickets, the ones currently being cleaned, ready tickets, all the tickets that have been picked up in the past. And at any point you can just click the ticket, click edit, and it lets you go modify the ticket. So in the back office, you'll notice you can manage your staff, your credit cards, um, the account manager, wholesale accounts, um, your route manager for deliveries. You can manage hotels. So it does general ledger statements, invoices for the hotel, 
sends PDF to the hotel manager um, of those weekly or monthly invoices that you need to send, but also um, manages all the delivery. And that's very, very important because in the delivery manager, you can select the different routes and you can simply manage the manifest shows you all the tickets that are ready to be delivered and you can print a delivery manifest or if you want more detail a pickup list um, everybody on that route that needs to be picked up today um, and there are other detailed videos that will go into delivery and etc um, under utilities you can see that you can manage your classes just like the old vivaldi system and item management is a little bit different and easier to use you select the class like I want to select dry cleaning here and after I select dry cleaning I can select any item you see it appears up top um, so I can come in here and um, modify any of the particular items and you can see that you can change the size of the button um, you can change the color of the button uh, the order that the buttons appear on the screen um, and you can modify things like have it pop up and ask for the price or the description. So this is a little bit longer video than before, but um, uh, just to kind of walk you through the new changes and additions, uh, Follow2 has all the features and functions and reports uh, that our previous system has had, plus a bunch more. Um, it does have integration into the iHome Valet. So if you have home delivery, uh, they can simply go into the iHome Valet and that's a website and they can pull up um, their account. They can schedule themselves for delivery. They can sign up for service. They could pay their accounts online if you have integrated uh, credit card processing. Uh, you'll also notice that you don't need to leave the system to go to websites because now to schedule appointments you just click and the appointment scheduler website will appear directly in follow um, you could go to the follow website if you need to um, get information or find contact information or download an upgrade um, you can also go directly to the online store from the new follow system so you can purchase printers and barcodes or manuals, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, It does have a new feature of a time card. Um, so you can click the time card here and it allows you to log in and um, clock in and clock out using an online based um, time card system. Um, so that's it for today. We're going to go ahead and um, finish up this video. Again, if you have any questions, you can always call us, go to our website, followpos.com, or the new one, pointofsalecloud.com. Um, and um, one of our sales techs will work with you or answer any detailed questions. Um, we'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Thank you.